Someone's screaming, okay. We should investigate. Let's take a look. Hello there, this is your friendly police officer Landon. May I assist you? <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and happy Mother's Day when this is being recorded. Today we're going to be playing a horror game called Mimic Search. I have not played this before, and I really haven't heard anything about it. I just saw it on itch.io, and I thought this would be a cool game to play, so that's what we're doing. It's made by Jimzel. Alrighty, the basic premise is that we're a police officer, and we get to drive a car. And we get to have a computer. From Nathan, subject briefing. Hello, a few hours ago we received an anonymous call for someone reporting an abandoned car with a lot of blood next to it. You know what that means. Investigate the crime scene. After that, drive around the area. Use your map. Talk to people and ask if they've seen anything weird. If you encountered a mimic, neutralize it with your firearm. <laughs> Don't get cornered. Mimics are highly trained predators. Good luck. Kind regards, Nathan. Thank you, Nathan. I appreciate your wisdom with that email. Alrighty, so we know our objective. We must just follow through. Should investigate the crime scene, of course. Press F. Oh, here we are. So I believe this might be a police officer. You. So what have we got here? In an abandoned car, a lake of blood, and no body. And no valuables are missing. So probably a mimic doing its work. Yes, I think that's obvious. The car was smoking when I arrived here. I think the victim was driving up the road and had to stop because the engine had an issue. The victim called roadside assistance while a mimic was hiding behind a bush. That thing was probably one of the big ones. There are huge footprints in front of the car. She didn't have a chance. How old is the victim? 37 years old according to her ID. Is this area known for mimic activity? No, not at all. But it seems like they're expanding their territory. I bet the person is still close to her probably somewhere in the woods. I'm testing her. You're sent, uh, you're sent to take care of it. Yes, that's why I'm here. I tasked with finding and neutralizing it. I'll drive around the area and ask if someone has seen something suspicious. Sounds like a plan. You have a map of the area on your life. Stay safe. Alrighty, this man loves to, loves to say everything under the sun. Anyway, uh, a lot of blood, but not a single piece of flesh. I, I guess we need to go in order of the crime scene. So where's one at? So two. Oh, here it is. Well, here's one. The victim's car, staying aside would have been safer, so nothing unusual there. The handbag of the victim, nothing was stolen. Cigarette is still warm, looks like the victim's last one. We have a smoker. That's a huge footprint. Hmm, interesting. Uh, I didn't get to read that. Um, okay, I probably didn't need to walk over that. I think I have everything I need to look at over here. Oh my gosh, there's another car here. I need to watch out. Might need to go pull them over. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Whatever your name was. Oh my gosh. They're gonna slow down. Slow down. My goodness. Pull around, put my sirens on. Got a gas station up here, it looks like. We might need to pull in, get some gas. Need to back her in. Trust me, this is <laughs> backing in 101. Nice. Alright, let me out. Let's go take a look out here and see what we have. Hey, how you doing, sir? What can I do for you, sir? I love how I just give the same voice to everyone. What can I do for you, sir? There was a mimic attack just down the road. Dang, that's bad for business. <laughs> Did you do you know anything that could help me with the search? I haven't noticed anything weird so far. Everything is just as always. Really? Nothing at all? No. Only thing I know is that you should be very careful. Nowadays, they're extremely good at pretending to be a human. Good luck with the search, officer. 
And well, I mean, I mean, I could look around here, see what I want. Some milk. Yeah, I gotta take some milk. What's in the freezer? That could be a dead body. Nah, I guess we're not gonna check. Alrighty. Alright, off we go. No one's coming that way, so we'll go ahead and just stay on the main road. But, um, the one thing I like about indie games is just how fun the style is to make an indie game. Eventually, down the road, I'd love to learn how to make an indie game, because I think that I've played a lot enough games on my channel, horror-related, that, um, I could have the idea of knowing, you know, what would be a good style of gaming and stuff like that, so... Also, it's, um, oh shoot, I just totally hit this car. The motel. Let's go take a look here. Maybe there'll be someone in here we can talk to. Hello, sir. Uh, what voice am I giving you? May I help you, sir? I'm here because a mimic was active down the road. Do you have anything that could help me? A mimic, you say? Dang, I just hope I'll never meet one of these things. I myself haven't noticed anything weird. But there's a farm east from here. Maybe they can help you more than I do. You could also follow the road up north. There's an area that is used for camping. Alright, thank you for your time. Okay. This guy was somewhat of a decent person to interview. Maybe there might be something up here we could... Oh, something. Alrighty. So, there's nothing here other than that gentleman. So, I'm be getting out of here. I'm not even looking backing up. So, hopefully there's nobody out here. Because my guy just, just, just doesn't want to turn that far. But that's okay. Um, We were at the motel. So, if we keep going down this road, we'll go to the camping spot. I guess we should have gone to the farm, actually. We need to turn back around. Do any U-turn. It's okay. It's just needed for the moment being. I wish it would show you an icon, but I kind of do like that, where you have to kind of, like, figure out yourself where you're going. So, I kind of like that, and I do not like it at the same time. But I like it a little bit more than I do not like it. I love these games where you can just be driving in a car. It feels very, like, real. Almost like you can see yourself doing this. That's what I like about it. I wish it had a radio, though, that you could listen to music with. But, again, you don't want to be a copyrighted version of a song, so... I think this might be it. Go ahead and turn in. How in the world did I not hit that? How, how, how did I hit that? 25. I don't think it'll matter. There it is. Farm up here. Go ahead and just park right here. Nice. Okay, let's take a look in here. Let's see what we have. Some tools. I kind of like this. I kind of like where I parked my... I, that might be a really good thumbnail, actually. <laughs> I like those thumbnails I get for my uh, games. are really fun to just get some thumbnails every now and then. Alrighty, got a little... Ride on mower. I don't know if anyone will be answering at this point. My gosh, that scared the crap out of me. May I help you, officer? <laughs> I don't know why he's gay. <laughs> Dang, you scared the crap out of me. Are you the owner of this farm? Yes, this is my property, sir. I'm here because we have reports of mimic activity in this area. Do you know anything that could help me out? Let me think for a second. No, not really. I haven't noticed anything weird. But I also heard rumors about people seeing or hearing them in the woods. I personally don't fear them. I made sure to lock all the doors and keep my rifle close to me. Thank you for your time. Uh, if you notice something weird, make sure to forward that information to the, the police. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good night, sir. Good night, and uh, stay safe, officer. Okay. Yeah, he's a... Uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, Oh my goodness, that was a interesting little interview we had. I don't know where we need to go from this point on. Just a briefing, so just the farm that we were originally at. So we visited the farm, trailer park. Have we visited the trailer park yet? I feel like we've hit the gas station, the motel, the camping spot we have. And just get into the world of it. And 
if I'm being honest, I, I, I got inspired by like Markiplier and uh, Jacksepticeye and Corey Kinchin watching them play those kind of games and is that a mimic? Help you, sir. Got any spare change, officer? Sure, here, take this. Thank you so much. I'm here to investigate a mimic report. Do you have anything to help me out? A mimic. Oh, that's bad. Really bad. I hear screams sometimes at night. Do you see this road going up there? I think there's a house. And the screams were coming from there, I think. You should take a look. I guess I'll have to. Thanks, and make sure to stay out of trouble. I will, officer. Okay, well, I, I don't feel like we should have gotten out of the car for, to talk to this guy. But, um, maybe if I hit him, maybe it'll do... No, no, okay. <laughs> so, we keep going up this way. We should be up near the house. Because it could be considered a house. Okay. Um, let's see here. We got cans outside, a tent, kettle. It's definitely not cooking something that we don't want to know. Hello, is someone in there? What do you want? I'm a police officer. I'm here to investigate a mimic-related incident. Can I talk to you for a second? We can talk, but uh, I'll keep the door closed for my own safety. That's not an issue. So you know anything that could help me out? No. Not me, but there's a homeless guy. Last night he came up to my tent and wanted some change. He said some stuff about hearing screams coming up from the wood. Anyway, if you want to talk to him, just uh, follow the road eastwards. Will do. Thank you for your time. Stay safe, officer. Oh, that's... I will. Okay. Anyway, we already talked to him, I believe, so that's why he was asking about change, so... We didn't get anything from him, so we got the... Oh, we went to the trailer park, I believe. I think we went the wrong way to go where we need to go. I don't know if the game's like, gonna let me do this, but it'd be cool if the game would like, let, let you choose who you thought, out of the people you talked to, who could possibly be the mimic. That'd be a really cool mechanic. Like, they give you little subtle clues to find out who it, what it is. I think it's the trailer park up here. Yeah, this is for sure the trailer park people out here so go ahead and unfasten our seat belts and uh, we got a few people to talk to let's see here what the heck do you want easy there pal I'm just here to ask a few questions people don't like cops around here make it quick I'm here for an investigation a mimic was active in the area around this nearby gas station dang that's where I go get my beer Ah, dang, that play is too expensive anyway. Do you know anything that would be useful to me? No. Everything is as always. Try your luck somewhere else, cop. Good night, sir. Alright, just as useful as I thought. I'm not talking with cops. I just want to ask a few questions. As I said, I'm not talking with cops. Alright, you all are just as useful as my man at the motel. I didn't really give much information, but it's fine. Alright, so we're at the trailer park, so we need to go back down the road to get to the cabin and camping spot. So, alright, goodbye. I'm gonna take a ride up here. Take a swing out. Very nice. Because I think this is shaping up to be a pretty decent video. Pretty decent video. Got ourselves a broken down car here. Let's go take a look. Hello there, sir. How you doing? What's up, pal? Your car broke down? No, the engine just got a bit too hot. I'm waiting for it to cool down before driving off. What do you need, officer? We have reports that there could be a mimic around this area. Do you know anything helpful? Yes, it's me. Let's go. What? Very funny. You do know that stupid jokes like this can land you in jail. Sorry, officer. It was a bad joke. I'll let you get away this time. I'll have to continue my search now. 
Stay safe, officer, and good luck with your search. Uh, I don't know if he was joking, sir. He kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of gives me a mimic vibe, but uh, you know, we got his license plate number, so I guess we can always track him. So. Some nights when I'm like really tired and I'm driving, sometimes I put on some like music from like 2010 area, like Rune 5 and uh, Katy Perry and stuff. It's really just a nice time just to sit back and listen to some old 2010 music. I already talked to you. I'm so confused where I'm at. What's this way? Is this the right way to go or am I going the wrong way? I feel like I might be going the wrong way, but why would it have an open area like this for if this wasn't the right way to go? I feel like this is something. Because according to the map, we took a left, so we should have been going the, sh the right way. I don't know, we'll find out in just a moment. If we're oh no, this is it. Alright guys, I'm not going to say anything, but I think this might be our last stop. <laughs> Someone's screaming, okay. Should investigate. Let's take a look. Hello there, this is your friendly police officer Landon. May I assist you? <laughs> Just save my ammo for what I needed. Just shoot it so they get a warning shot. Hello. Somebody out here. Uh, it sounds like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Because the more I get closer, the more it does sound like a cat. Got some good vocal cords on this person who's screaming this far for me to hear him. Where are they at? Lord have mercy. I'm getting trigger. Happy. I'm just clicking my mouse because I like, don't want to be jump scared by this thing. Dude, how far in the woods is this? Must be getting close. How far What the heck? is this thing? Where the heck is this thing? What the heck? It stopped screaming. Get away from the shrubbery. Hear it. There it is. That's the dead mimic. What the heck? Why was he? You <laughs> neutralized the mimic. Why, why was he just walking? <laughs> Mimic search. Made by Gimsel. Join the Discord to see my future projects. Wow. What a beautiful game. What a beautiful game. What a beautiful game. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please let me know down in the comments. And I uh, appreciate it. Thank you all. Have a great night. Later from the Bando out.